and welcome to the Guild 3, everyone. My name is Usser. We are going to start a single-player game. We're going to start a new game and do the tutorial. This is a economic simulator where you play through as a family and, like, when your character grows old, you die, you carry on as your kids and just build up a, you know, business, build up a dynasty. You could get into political intrigue and stuff. Um... Lesser Soros, family name. We have Catholic, Secular Christian, and Protestant Christians as an option. Uh, let's change our clothing. I kind of like the look of that. We've got different attributes that affect your character on different ways. Um, now, I've tried to record this three times. Okay, so this is probably going to go pretty smooth for my playthrough. OBS had an update and it kept having problems where it would save MP4s in a corrupted state. So I've tried to play this a few times. I've been very angry. <laughs> that was horrible. Welcome to the Guild 3. Thank you. Economic simulation and RPG yes. set in the late Middle Ages. I know. You assume the role of a person in this historical scenario, but you are not just part of it. You can write your own success story. Your starting character, your avatar, will age during the game. Yes. So I haven't played much of the guild too, so but I did play a lot of the, the original one, Europa you 1400. Normal difficulty level. I didn't choose starting that. You chose it. Be slightly easier I would have chosen until easy. You reach the rank of citizen. You decided to take over the role of a fairly poor and inexperienced character. I didn't decide that either. arrived at the city gates just a few days ago. You will have to work hard to achieve the rights of a citizen, which will allow you to live and work in the city. Your childhood was full of privations. Your parents were peasants. What those privations mean? On the fields of the Lord in a village I'm just a simple town. American. I don't know that word. Seldom had enough to eat or some copper coins for new clothes. When you grew up, you swore that your children would have a better life than you had. That's the goal. People say everyone can be the masters of their own fate in the free cities and earn good money through some honest or even dishonest toil. Dishonest. So you set out for the city to confront your destiny. In um, the original the one, in 1400, I would often do the thieves because they just go out and pickpocket people. There was no buying resources or anything like that. Okay, so we got our tutorial menu. Now, we've got a quest book. We've got different quests. There's trade orders for long distance trade cities. We could go to signposts and see if there's any goods to purchase. But what we need to do is construct a business, which means we click on the little build button. Yes, they give us a tutorial pop-up on how to do it. We're going to select our craftsman. All work and no play, sure. And zoom out a little bit. Now, we this mark here is the marketplace, and we want to be close to that. We don't want to have to have a long walk to the market. So we're going to put right here, right across the street... 1250 bucks. We're building it right next to someone else's place, too. Crude Craftsman's Hut. Not good, but fast. Wow. I'm putting a Crude Craftsman's Hut right next to it. Talk about competition. Oh, we're going to be fighting with each other over that. Okay, let's speed up time so this gets built. Plus and minus on your, your number pad will speed up and slow down the time. New building has been finished. I did it! Produce iron. So we need to produce at least three iron. First and foremost, we need to hire a transporter so we can take stuff to and from the market. And then we need to hire a worker. You only need one for right now, but I'm going to go ahead and hire two. And then we put iron in our order list. Uh, I don't know about 60. Let, well, I'm going to need lots of iron. Let's go ahead and do 50. Boom. Get, they get to work. They're making the iron ingots. And we will soon have the three of them. Uh, also, we want to go to the storefront. Let's put iron uh, out there in the storefront. And they'll keep like four iron ingots there. 
Okay, so we finished our quest. That's three iron ingots. Carry out your boast. We want to boast about our success. Okay, so drag and drop the boast about your achievements action from the left hand side to the order list in the middle, and then we'll do three of them. So first, we have to hire ourselves as a worker. At your service. Wink. And then we do boast. Three. Boink. And then I take it off. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going somewhere, and I'm just going to boast. It would be better if I was boasting over here. Because there's a certain radius around you. Like, if you select the action, you can point and click where you want it to actually happen. But, um... Oh, well. I'm just boasting to whoever passing by. Look at me! Look at me, I did a thing. I made an iron ingot. Well, I didn't do it. My workers did. Great storytelling. Ah, one of my workers leveled up. So. Come over here, click on level 2. They, they give you a tutorial about the character window, but here. You can add different things to it. Now, uh, dexterity... Physical responsiveness, basic body control. That would be a good thing for a metal worker. Also, uh, being strong would be good for a metal worker. They don't need to be smart. They don't need perception and they don't need charisma. Just dexterity and strength would be my opinion there. Where did I go? I'm busy. Not can't help right now. Who are you boasting to? Who? There's no one there. Oh my god. Professional level. Ah! Now we can level up my metal workers. And I would think it's the same thing. Dexterity and strength. Wow. He has really bad on both. There we go. Alright, let's speed it up so I finish boasting. An employee has reached a new professional level. Again! Wow. That transporter is getting it done. Um, let's give him some strength. Family member has leveled up. Now I'm leveled up. I am the master. Okay, so what do I want to do? I think I'll do Dexterity for myself as well. I am going to need Charisma, though. Okay, we boasted. Enter and look inside your residence. So we tell him, hey, go home. Spin my camera around. Here's my residence. Whoops. Inside the building. Here we are. And I'm home. Okay. I'm here. What was I supposed to do? Uh, send your avatar home. You can now carry out the look outside action. Okay, so then I've got to teach myself how to go in and out. Cool. Produce social items. So inside we need to produce flannel, a bouquet of flowers, and then use the flannel. Oops. We're gonna look inside. Um, so this is flannel. Well, we don't need 60 now, do we? I don't even think we need that. Uh, we don't need 60 of those either. I think we need three? Confirm. I'm hurrying. All right. I, I unpaused him and he is now going to do his order list and carry out his job. I wonder what that's a picture of. Family tree! Ah! So it's just me right now. I'm 18. Which, that can't last because if you don't have an acceptable heir when you die, game over. So you definitely have to go out and have some kids. Right away. Okay, let's look at the quest now. Um, I gotta dismiss myself from being an employee now. So... Uh, 
-hmm. Dismiss myself from being an employee. Then I have to... Oh, where is it? I've got to find my inventory. You wanted to talk to me? Oh, come on. Maybe it's here. There we go. Okay, let's drag the flannel over here. And the bouquet of flowers. Now I've got it in my inventory, on my person. And then I have to okay. click on myself, okay. click on my bag, yeah. and use the flannel. What that does is, boom, charisma has been boosted. Now, carry out, embark on a romance. So we gotta go to our list of people, romances and liaisons. We gotta find someone to get married to. A 41 year old in the Middle Ages. She's nearly dead. That kinda hurts to admit, because that's how old I am. 50, even worse, oh my god. Is there not anybody young to romance? 49, 45? 19, but she's engaged. Then we have some people who are married. Oh my god. So unless I steal the engaged 19-year-old, I'm going to slow it down. Uh, what we are going to do is send myself up to bed. At your seat, certainly. Get a good night's sleep. Okay, that was a, an entire year. One round each day is an entire year, so now I'm going to be a year older. We better hope that things go better this year for <laughs> finding romance. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different things that you can explore down here. Urgents and needs, like uh, visit an inn, visit a run den, get your wounds healed. You can do aggression, attack someone, kill them. You can sneak around, you can beg. Um, there's, you can train yourself up and like train up your, uh, your strength or your charisma. You can also adopt an orphan, which judging by how old the people were for my romance, um, I might have to do that just because <laughs> Uh, in the Middle Ages, if you're 50, you are ancient. You're the only thing of beauty, blah blah blah. Come on, work. Please work. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is, um, now that I actually embarked on a romance, we're going to have to court her, so I need to compliment her. And I need to give her some flowers, so let's do the compliment first. Yeah. She's running away from me. Don't run away from me. Uh, you are my candle in the darkness. Oh. It actually worked. 61% I was thinking it. It's, it's never gonna work. Um, okay, now, me. Home time? What's that? We need to give her a bouquet of flowers. Will do. Go away. To present you this gift. There we go. Success. Okay, so. Wow, I didn't get credit for either of those. No Hold on. No game. Yes, my hero? Yeah. Okay. Uh, your most beautiful thing of all <laughs> God's <laughs> creation. I don't fault your oh boy, that didn't work at all. Minus eight, man. Anything wrong? I'm not having luck. Uh, we'll here, do. flannel. Let's get that buff going. Okay, my compliments done with yes, the cooldown. Let's try this you? again. Seventy-three percent. You, you're my precious stone among pebbles. My eyes will always find your sparkle, even in total darkness. Precious stone. You flatter me. Thank you very much. Success. So that should have given me like a tick. Yes. Okay. I know what was wrong the first time, but it didn't work. Almost ready. Boink. Yes, dearest. We'll Give do. it to her. It's my pleasure to present you this gift. 
I hope you like it. Oh, failed. Man. Wow. Yep. I'm glad I made three. I only have to succeed once, but it didn't give me credit for the first one. Okay. Yes, my hero. Come on, I have to go make more if this doesn't work. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm otherwise engaged. I know you are, I just wanted to follow you. There we go. Whew, you received a new quest. Propose marriage. Here we go. Will do. Would you marry me? 98%. Well, of course I want to marry Yay! A love affair! Marry one of your romances. Here I am. So, you have to actually marry them. Uh, start the wedding in the church. Oh, get the big wedding I've always dreamed about. Yes, uh, let's do this. Now, this is kind of funny because when you get to the church, um, I go there, I set everything up. And the wedding bells start ringing. Yay, we have a wedding, we have a wedding. Well, you've got to wait till she runs this same route all the way over to the church and comes inside. That kind of made me chuckle, because I was like, oh, wow. So just hours. The bells are ringing for hours. In I go. Um, church wedding. Confirm. A wedding's taking place. It is 1311. Let's see how long it takes her to show up. Like, she doesn't even know it necessarily is her. Uh, 1341. So it took her half an hour to get here. Bells are just ringing, ringing, ringing. Yes, I do. Yes, she does. Okay, let's get through that. There we did it bow like it's the middle ages she's got a walking stick I hereby declare you at 36 and wife. You may now kiss the bride. why thank you okay so now produce an offspring which means we need to go home and um, <clears throat> get to it Here I so, I'm adding her to my party. That way we will move around together. And before we do anything, let's get this charisma up, because I need that. Um, so, the dynasties of businesses is here. Very weird to say that... Um, oh, we have to go home first. Obviously, you have to yes. be home to do an offspring. So, send yeah. home. Alright, let's try it now. Yes. Produce offspring. to talk to me. I won't take long. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. This won't take long. Someone is expecting a baby. Yay! Okay, acquire the title of yeoman. So we have to go into, we have a skill tree. And there's a lot of different things you can do in the skill tree, which is excellent. I'm going to get the tutorial out of the way. So first of all, you can claim your different citizenship level and citizen is when you can actually start living inside the main city area but it's a thousand bucks to become a commoner ouch now that gives you new things you can do you can drive your workers distract the guard stack boxes hunt rats church donation denounce someone in public and praise someone in public and then yeoman gives you some other new things Promote your business, which is a good one. Throw stones, ask for a favor, apologize to the neighbors, and raid the kitchens. Then you also have things here. Food preparation, handicrafts, some metalworking stuff. Always useful. Got scholarship, so you can do different things. Roguery, which lets you, like, steal and kidnap. And then you've got a social skills one. But you need influence, this stuff, to do certain things and unlock it. Now, carry out, drive your workers successfully. 
I don't really like that. Alright, so I need to go outside. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Stop. Stop what you're doing. Okay. Dynasty and businesses, we're going to drive your workers, which gives them a buff. I'd like to think it's encouragement, but I'm probably just sitting there chewing their ass. Poor guys. But it will speed them up. These guys aren't doing anything because, I don't know, reasons? Um, you can also, for your business, expand it. So you can do add-ons. Hire more workers. Add more storage space. Uh, fire protection. Which is probably a good idea considering it's a blacksmith. Uh, more store slots, more storage space, more transporters. There's a bunch of different things you can do to really increase your productivity. Um, so it's... So now it says, increase your skill. I need Ambitious 1, Crude Craftsman 2, and Metalworking 1. So we'll go to our skill tree. Uh, crude Craftsman. I've got two. One will take 750 to acquire. Uh, what else did it say for me to do? Uh, ambitious one, which is in the social skills tab. Boink. Aha, I'm ambitious. Now, some of them, you have to get up to citizen to acquire it. So we'll claim the title of resident. I've got the money to do this. A storage barn. Uh, release the fleas. Your tireless to play a prank a on grown-ups. Resident. Wow. Exploit connections. Uh, public relations. And private official. And then we need to get Citizen to get that Metalcraft one. Ooh. Expensive, but... Look at this. Now I can have a house instead of my crude little hut. I can run for office. Send a school, hire a henchman, guard a building, escort people, find evidence, spur on your transporters on, read something out loud, eligibility to lease resource providers. So there's places where they dig up like the iron ore. I can lease it and then it would act as a business where I would be uh, selling the, the iron ore and stuff. So I got that. Let's do... Uh, where was it? Tinker Taylor. Ah, Metalworking 1. Confirm. I have done it. What do you got for me now? Construct business. Erect a new building. Select the foundry. Rename it as you wish. Uh, and select where you want to put it. So now that I've leveled up, I can make a foundry, which will be a full proper blacksmith. Um, the hot spot. Ooh, that's pretty good sized. Um, level free plot of land. Uh, yay, yay. Wow, I'm really having a, a problem finding a spot for it. Oh, oh, they want me to put it up in the city. Okay, I can't put it up. Oh, I can put it up there. But let's put it up here next to the central marketplace over here. 2,000 bucks. Now in the old one, it used to be that you would take like... A crude Craftsman Hut, I guess, is so poor in, in serfdom area. But you would upgrade it. You would just upgrade to level 2, level 3. This is a little bit different, I guess. Um... Uh, where's my housing? Because they said I could have a house. Do I just need to upgrade my little hub? Oh, oh my, look at that. It's autumn 1402 now. 
So it will go through to the next season, but the next season always takes place the following year. Okay. I don't think I can upgrade this to a higher level. So this, like, you have a lot of management in this game. So this would be, um, this would be pretty good where it is. Like, if I max it out, it'll keep bringing me in money. But it's not like it's an important thing compared to the foundry. The foundry is where I'm going to really make some money. Okay, so I did some upgrades. I made it so I could hire a new worker. Um, got the metal up there, ready to do as much as possible. I need some more front store stuff, because I want to have more daggers there. Uh, I also want to have some nails. Like, people need nails for things. Um, and fittings. Produce more items. Fitting and a dagger. Oh, hey, I need to do that anyway. So apparently my business is constructed. Let's go look at it. A foundry. Two o'clock in okay. the morning. So we're already gonna have to hire well. some people here. Now these people, higher quality, higher cost. Um silver, huh? Iron bracers, silver chain, cool. So we're gonna start by just making a bunch of silver. Oh wow, building security. Wow, look at all the levels there. Storage slots, productivity, customer satisfaction. Like my little serfdom one didn't have a lot of stuff like this. So now I've got two businesses to rake in the dough. Raw materials can be stored there. Oh, there we go. Residences. Derp. Uh, yeah, I could build a house. And then you get patrician house. And then mansions. So, let's build a house. The jolly tenant. Um. Oh, so the house has to be built in this city. So, let's build it next to my foundry. Right on the corner. Boink. Yeah. So then we'll have this, which will be much nicer than a cottage. So let's go inside. Okay, got a workbench, got a fireplace. Nice. What is that? There's the bedroom. We don't have to climb upstairs to go to bed. So we've got our own bedroom. Very fancy now. None of the stuff is here. Um... So we don't have our storage stuff. I don't know how I would do that. And in fact, I should probably wait until the game talks to me about stuff like that. Um, I've got the daggers. I just need to produce the fittings. So I might go over here and tell these guys, hey, stop what you're doing with daggers. And that's our quest. Carry out, hire a henchman successfully. Okay. Um, here I am. Now, how do I do that? I swear I saw one here. An employee yes, hire my henchman for 350. Level. Okay, I did that. Escort someone. Now, protect your avatar. Use the action escort someone in the action bar of your henchman, then select your avatar. Um, where's my henchman? Oh, there we are. Um, okay. Escort someone. Boink. There we go. My henchman is now escorting me. Carry out an attack on someone. Select your avatar and send him off to attack a member of a competing dynasty. Uh, if you want to achieve your better... Chance of success, I need to go buy a weapon and armor. I'm not going to worry too much yes, about sir. it. However, we're going to go outside. I'm Come with me, lady. Okay. Uh, competing dynasty. Where is someone from a competing dynasty? Uh, you know what? Oh, no. 
Yeah. Let's get him. Hi. Oh, he ran off. Look at that. <laughs> that worked. Occupy an office. Click on the C records icon in the middle of the in the middle top bar. Find any office at the lowest level that has a feather icon. That means you can apply right away. I do not see anything that's open. That has a feather icon. Your family is growing! Yay! Whoa, hold on. Xaver. Dark Knight. Legends tell of a Dark Knight stalking through the night, purging the land of evildoers. You might just be his reincarnation or his worst nightmare. <laughs> Apply. Uh, you need to hold an office of the previous level. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't think I'd be able to, but I was like, I don't see any at the very lowest level that are open. So I'd have to wait till they're open. But, I mean, that gives you a pretty good idea so far of just what you're looking at with this. Uh, let's go to the... And go home. I won't take long. That gives you an idea of what this is like. It is quite fun. I played the original one, which isn't quite as in-depth as this. You weren't, like, your character wasn't running around the map. You would just find, like, your business, double-click, boom, you go to your business. You find your, um... House, double click, boom, you go to the house. You didn't actually see your I'm character um, like this, Stop clicking on but you would see your workers and you would tell them what to do. Like I said, I, I like the thief just because you aren't spending money to buy resources to produce things. You just go out and pick pockets and then eventually you can rob a business or at the ultimate level you can kidnap people and then ransom them. Horrible, I know, but it's easy money. Anyway, that will be all for this episode of the Guild 3. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I post anything new. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!